Yo, what is going on guys? It is Partoad back again with another video. Now guys, in today's video, we are going to be doing a micro turtle setup. Now, the reason why I'm doing a micro turtle setup is I did a community post, and at the time of me doing that post and filming, y'all said the Crusty Echo setup. So that was last week's video. I'm sure you guys saw that. But now, it is time for this setup, and it's gonna be a micro turtle setup. You'll see how it's gonna go down, how we're gonna set it up, how we're gonna build it, all that good stuff. But before we do, I actually went to the Lone Star Reptile Expo. It's my first show back. So I'm super glad to finally be back going to the shows. Now, hopefully I don't get COVID. One more thing, ladies and gentlemen, before we get too far in this setup, this is a quick little disclaimer that I have for you guys. Keep in mind, this video is only, completely only for entertainment purposes. Now, if you would like me to do a micro turtle setup that actually works and you can actually house your animal in, let me know and I can definitely do something like that. But this setup, in this case scenario, never ever ever put any sort of reptile or amphibian species or really any animal in this sort of setup, but especially a turtle being that that's what we're basing it after. So yeah, just don't put any animal in this setup. You risk the animal getting out, you risk the animal dying etc and you cannot blame me for that that is your fault if you put it in an enclosure like this i'm letting you guys know right now that this is for entertainment but i'm gonna roll that footage first then we will do the micro turtle setup With such beautiful price tags as well. Awesome, it feels so awesome to be back at the shows. Hopefully I can get some more footage and uh, hopefully this corona doesn't cancel any more shows. Hey, you gotta pay to film me, sir? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am back from the expo. I got all sorts of stuff, but I'm obviously not going to film any of that because that is not what this video is about. As y'all saw, as y'all clicked on the title and thumbnail of this video, we are going to be building a micro turtle setup. So let's get into that. Anyhow, our first ingredient that we're going to be using in this build is a painter's tray. So obviously these are going to be the trays where you have paint in and then you roll, of course, your paintbrush up to dry it off. This is what I'm going to be using as the main housing of this enclosure. And you can actually see why, how it dips in. So you can actually create a nice little land and water area instead of it having all flowing together. So that is why we're going to be using this. Also, I like the little legs it has to help as a stand, if you will. So that's going to be the first object or item we're going to be using. Next thing I'm going to be using this giant fake plant here. Uh, this is simply going to be for decorative use around the enclosure. You'll see how that's going to go here shortly. Now for the inside of this enclosure, I need to go find some rocks to put at the bottom and to put up towards the top. So let's go outside by our pond and see if we can find some rocks. Hey guys, so we're out here with our pond area. It's kind of a mess, so I'm not going to film too much of that. But I'm going to kind of just dig through all these river rock here, see what I like best, see what I want to use in the enclosure, and that's basically it. Oh my gosh, and this turtle just came out of the freaking fern trying to attack me. Get in the water. Get in the water. These are my fingers. Oh my god, there's another one. What the heck? These turtles are after me. Oh, he fell in. Oh god, no, 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 not my toes. Not my toes. Stop, stop. Ah, help me, help me. Ah! Stop, dude, stop, he's picking out my child. Ow, ow, help me. Get out of here, dude. Stop being so mean. What a boy. Now I got another one coming out of the water after me. Oh, these guys are, oh my gosh, there's one over here. Dude, stop. These guys are literally attacking me. This is not, these turtles are not paid actors. They are legit just attacking me. What the heck, stop. Stop it, dude, stop. Whoa, oh my god, this one's coming out too. Give me a break, give me a break. All right, guys, after being brutally attacked by two red sliders, I've gotten some rocks here. Now, I might go out and get more in a minute, but this is good for now. Now, what I'm simply going to be doing is taking these rocks and putting them across the bottom on the ledge, anywhere that I think looks nice and will help add to the uh, to the effect and to the look of the enclosure. Here, so we can even put some like that, maybe one across here, things like that, just kind of set them up nice and neat. Look at that. Alrighty guys, next I have a handful of pea gravel right here. It's a bit dirty, but it's alright, it'll do. We're basically going to cover the bottom, just fill it up nice and neat, just like that. So now I've got some, my pea gravel kind of spread out. I'm also going to add these flatter rocks towards the center to act as a mini basking spot. Obviously, once again, this is all for entertainment and just a funny little decorative idea. It's not an actual setup that I would suggest for any sort of turtle or any sort of animal overall. Okay, so now that we've got that kind of built up, little neat little idea here, now we're going to have to do our land area. What we're gonna do with that is we're gonna add moss across the top. Moss in real life, in fact, makes a really good land setup for turtles and tortoises. Not perfect, but a pretty decent idea. So I may add some moss or maybe some dirt. I'm still deciding, but you'll see once we get it in here. So I decided to go with a little bit of jungle mix here. Just gonna add a little bit in right on this land side here and I'll spread it out and we'll see how that looks overall. Look at that guys, it's actually looking quite decent. I'm actually enjoying how this micro turtle setup is turning out. Now what we're going to do is just decorate the outside a little bit. I don't like that clear portion right here, so we're going to decorate the outside to make it look a whole lot better. That's where our giant plant comes in. We're going to basically wrap it around this just to give it a better, more natural look. And look at that, it looks a whole lot better. It's more clean. Now keep in mind, here's my foot compared to this enclosure. So that really shows how micro this enclosure truly is. Now all I'm basically going to do is add any other little decorations or accessories I may want to add and then we're going to fill up the water portion. Alrighty so I just added this hide for our little turtle that's going to be going in this enclosure. Now it's about time that we fill up the water. Yo, that looks actually really, really cool. So we got a little lily pad in there. Then we've got, of course, our hide and our land area. 
Then, of course, our rocky area. That looks so cool. We got a little algae-covered rock right there to add a little detail. Now it's about time that we add the animals that will be living in this enclosure. Yo, look at our little turtle that we got. This is a western planted micro turtle. Look at that. He is just straight chilling. I don't even know if he'll be able to fit in his hide, but that looks absolutely dope. Now we've also got our other inhabitants, our little goldfish. Drop a comment if y'all want to give some names to these two guys, because I honestly don't have a name for these two. If y'all give me a name, I'll name them both. So drop a comment for our little goldfish here that is just chilling in the water, sucking on the rocks, and our turtle that is just chilling as well. Here's the overall setup. Here's a water bottle real quick, just compared to it. You can kind of see how tall it is right there. It is not very tall. It comes maybe three inches off the ground, but it looks super duper cool. We got a little lily pad in there, our algae covered rock, our goldfish, our turtle, our hide. It doesn't get much better than that. Now keep in mind, I will be keeping this enclosure outside so that our turtle gets proper uh, natural UVB and heat. I do not want to put a heat lamp on this thing, otherwise we will have a nice cooked turtle. So keep that in mind. Oh, hey little buddy. You hungry? Look, our little guy is coming up to the edge. Hi, hi. All right, looks like this guy wants some food. So let's feed our goldfish and our turtle here. All right, so we got some repti sticks. I'm gonna drop those in for our little guys to eat. They'll go crazy after them here in a little bit once they find them. I don't know if you can see, but our turtle is attempting to eat a repti stick. That's super awesome. So yeah, it looks like our new inhabitants are getting used to their enclosure very, very well. Micro turtle setup is complete. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section below. Also, guys, let me know if y'all want me to do an actual legit turtle setup that you can really house legitimate turtles in with a whole filter, UVB lighting, all that good stuff. Definitely drop a comment down in the comment section below. I think that'd be a pretty cool video to do, but you guys gotta really show me that you want me to do a video like that. In other news, Blue has been reset up into his enclosure with the whole dirted area. I recently, if, in case some of y'all don't know, I recently got him over a whole mite ordeal. He had mites from the person I got him from. I went, treated his entire enclosure, treated him, and it's been about three weeks now. So hopefully he is completely mite free. I haven't seen a single mite on him in a very, very good while. As you can see, he's getting a little bit more weight on him, which is very, very good news. Um, so I'm glad to see that Blue's doing well. I actually added this live fern in there, which I think looks super, super good. Of course, his food, his water, and then the rest of his enclosure, his power sun. Uh, light bulb so he is just chilling in this enclosure come up here and check on our eggs it's kind of hard to see but you can kind of see him right there no eggs have hatched yet as soon as they do I will of course let you guys know make sure once I let you know you go and go and grab some of these eggs while they're still there we'll have four babies eventually we're gonna still continue to have more eggs but definitely go and grab some while you can uh, come that'll help support me that'll help support the channel so I greatly appreciate it with that being said, make sure you go check out Almo Exotics. I have some animals for sale on there. I'm constantly adding more animals and changing it up a bit. So if you would like to purchase an animal directly from me, whether that's a toad, a frog, a lizard, a tortoise, turtle, whatever it may be that I have up there, and it comes from my tab on the website, it'll be coming from me. So go check out Almo Exotics uh, for sure. Anyhow, I've got a lot to do in this reptile room. A lot of cleaning to do, a lot of organizing to do. It's a bit messy and cluttery. It's going to be a long day, but let's get ready to end this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. And lastly, go follow my Instagram where I'm posting about animals, my animals, other animals, uh, just things on a day-to-day -day basis too. So make sure you go follow my Instagram. My Instagram is going to be down in the description. It is the real Pyrotoad YT, so go, go, go. Make sure to also leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Of course, that'll help me know that you enjoyed the video. Maybe I'll do a part two if you really, really enjoyed it, etc. Ladies and gentlemen, the most important thing I need you guys to do is hit that little red subscribe button. Make that red subscribe button gray. It's free. You get to subscribe to the channel. Get all sorts of amazing videos coming your way. I got a lot planned. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.